GOP presidential nominee Donald Trump is turning on the charm as he meets with Republican leaders worried about his candidacy. Yeah, the normally blunt candidate says the talks are, quote, working out really well. But House Speaker Paul Ryan still is not endorsing Trump. KCAL 9 political reporter Dave Bryan joins us now with more on Trump's charm offensive and looks at whether it's working or not. Dave? Well, they said all the right things. Yeah. What does that mean? Who knows? Your guess mm -hmm. is probably good as mine and maybe better. Lots of drama in Washington today, but in the end, not much has changed, at least not yet. Everyone made nice about one another after the Trump Paul Ryan summit meeting, but what does it really mean? Well, we talked to two prominent Republican political professionals, one in LA, the other in Orange County, and their answers, well, you'll see. Despite reaching no announced agreement on divisive issues and no endorsement yet, Donald Trump was all exuberant thumbs up on his Washington Unity Tour, a tour that drew a mob of reporters, some curious neighbors, and... And a small crowd of determined protesters. Stop the hate! Stop the hate! Trump tweeted out things working out really well, with no indication of what exactly that means. And House Speaker Paul Ryan, who met with Trump for about 45 minutes, was no more specific. I thought he's a very good, good personality. Uh, he's a very warm, gen, warm and genuine person. Ryan said the meeting was encouraging, but admitted there were no dramatic breakthroughs on policy. The list includes Trump's call to ban Muslim immigration, deport all undocumented immigrants, oppose pending free trade deals, and leave Medicare and Social Security intact. And Ryan would not say if or when he would endorse Trump. This is a process. We just began the process. I'm very encouraged at the first meeting of this process. But there are still major differences in how Republicans view Donald Trump and the meeting with Paul Ryan. Jeff Corliss from Orange County is the former political director for Carly Fiorina. He said this about whether Trump will get an endorsement from Ryan. He's chairman of the RNC convention. There should be an endorsement of Donald Trump well before that convention. And, and I'm quite certain that Speaker Ryan will make that endorsement before the convention. Matt Klink is a veteran Republican political consultant in the San Fernando Valley. The question is, is whether Paul Ryan can swallow a bitter pill and say, Donald Trump is the guy that we want to be our head running against Hillary Clinton. Frankly, I think that if the speaker were to do that, the Republican brand is tarnished beyond 2016. Clink and Corliss, both strong Republican political professionals, are worlds apart on how difficult it would be for Ryan and other Republican conservatives to embrace Trump. The Republican Party has some real soul searching to do. Do they sell out and go for broke with a man who is not a conservative? Or do they suck it up and say, we need to hold the Senate, we need to hold the House, and Paul Ryan is at the tip of the sword on that because what he does will send a message rippling across the United States. I think that this conservative label is something that gets thrown around uh, a little too loosely. And I think that Republican voters in this election are defining what they see as conservatism. The voters in Republican primaries are saying that Donald Trump is what they believe conservatism should be in this next election to fix the problems that they're most concerned about. So the bottom line tonight is there's a very active debate among Republicans about Ryan and Trump and what's best now for the GOP, while the House Speaker and his party's presumptive presidential candidate and their staffs will continue to see if they can reach agreement or close enough for an endorsement. Still a work in progress. Yeah, well, Dave, we know that not only is Ryan on the fence, but some other GOP leaders as well. Yeah. So how are they reacting to this charm offenses from Trump today? Yeah, there, there has been some, some reaction. You know, it, 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 that creates a, the drama around the Trump-Ryan summit meetings because many observers believe that if they can come to an agreement and an endorsement, it will go a long way toward putting out the fire of the Republican Trump skeptics. And there was some movement on that front today. Trump also met with other members of the House leadership and Senate Majority Leader Mitch McConnell as part of his D.C. fence-mending unity campaign. He even had a phone conversation yesterday with his most severe GOP critic, Senator Lindsey Graham, who released a statement saying they had a good discussion about national security issues. Lena?